do birth photography, which means that it is what it sounds like. I shoot births. Siyempre, when they say birth photography, natatakot sila kasi parang, ano, nagsashoot ka down there. Yun yung takot nila. But uh, when they see the pictures that I take and they see how dramatic and how artistic it can get, yun na-appreciate nila. It's not, I don't shoot it in a medical way, I shoot it in an emotional way. Kunyari, yung first nung baby, like, yung mga measurement ng baby, yung first meeting niya with the siblings, the way the mom carries the baby for the first time. So, I focus more on those things and not yung medical part na talagang nandun ka sa gitna nung, nung legs ng mom tapos lalabas si baby. Hindi ganun. Siguro yung pinaka-medical shot na na I would take is a breastfeeding shot kung gusto ng mom. So, yun. But everything is, ano, I, I capture more of the emotion of it and parang more to keep it as a memory for the family. By nature, I'm really an emotional person. So, a lot of my friends, and even the clients that I've shot, they think na in, in that way, this kind of photography is perfect for me. So, yun, madali ako maiyak, mababaw yung luha ko. So, parang when I get into the scene, when I, when I go into the hospital room, Parang I'm immediately immersed in that situation. Na parang there's this family, kakarating lang nitong baby, especially na kung firstborn nila yung, yung baby. So when I see it, and I know it right away, I, I take it. There are shots na parang alam ko na, okay, that wala naman talaga masyado. Parang. But may shots na, pag nakita ko na, kunyari tabihan lang ng dad, yung mom, kita mo kagad, boom! So I take it right away. So yun, in that sense, kailangan mabilis rin ako uh, because syempre ayoko na pinapost yung mga tao. Ayoko na parang, oy dad, tayo ka naman dito para mukhang parang nag-hug kayo. Hindi, kailangan I'm catching it as it really happens. If the dad is gonna leave to like, minsan bibili lang siya ng food for the mom, syempre lalapitan niyo muna yung mom, ikikiss niya yung mom. Ina-anticipate ko na yun. So I don't make it happen. I let it unfold and then I take it as it's unfolding naturally. The most I would post a dad is if, kunyari, karga niya yung baby, tapos minsan, I'll take them as is. And then minsan, I'll say, oh, dad, smile naman dito. Pero yun na yung pinaka-posting na gagawin ko. I will never fabricate yung scenario. I will always, parang, my style is documentary, so I, I have, I put a lot of integrity in, yun, capturing what is really happening and not making it happen. a big deal to me that the pictures I take or the moments that I choose to capture, I know that for the person I'm giving it to, for my client, pag natanggap nila yung picture na yun, mas sila rin mamumove. Parang kung ako nga, hindi ko sila ganun kakilala, namumove ako, ano pa sila. So parang, I know that parang to a parent, even the simplest picture of your child, mamahalin mo talaga yan. Ano pa yung talagang na-capture ko yung moment na magkasama kayo, na kinarga mo siya for the first time. I mean, those are things na never na mauulit sa buhay nila. So, for me, I charge a certain amount, but the fact that that picture is really priceless, na pag natanggap nila yun, they'll have it forever. Na when their kid turns 12 or 13, makikwento mo na, hey, look, this is the day you were born and this is what happened. Like, not a lot of people can give you that. the biggest challenge is the fact that uh, everything is unexpected. I mean, every birth happens differently. Um, even if you try to plan and plan and you say that, okay, usapan ninyo ng client, magsushoot kayo sa hospital room or sa nursery or sa delivery room, uh, kahit na pinag-usapan nyo na yun, lahat yun, hindi mo alam talaga kung paano mangyayari hanggat dumating ka na dun. Kasi when you get there, biglang, you know, the doctor pala might not allow this. Or biglang sa nursery, hindi ka papasukin. So, ano, kailangan handa ka talaga for any, any situation. And then, of course, if you're shooting a full delivery na parang simula nung, nung labor pa lang, nandun ka na. Siyempre, hindi mo alam gano'ng katagal bago manganak. Diba? Kailangan handa ka to stay. 
and and then while you're there, you just have to make the most of it. I mean, since you don't know what's gonna happen, wh whatever moment you're in, gawan mo na nang maghanap ka na nang talagang mas shoot mo. So kung ano mang situation yun, talagang I shoot no matter what. And then at the end, yun pipili ka na lang kung ano yung pinaka ano, kung bagay yung pinaka relevant sa pictures. But while it's happening, kahit na hindi mo expected yung mga nangyari, yung pagka unexpected ng mga nangyayari is still part of the the actual birth, di ba? So yun, so that is the biggest challenge talaga. The most rewarding is really when you see uh, the parents' faces when they see the pictures. Um, sometimes you show them on the spot, but but then sometimes you sa CD na lang nila nakikita. And it's not just what how eh, parang how they react, but talagang yung iba, they'll really go out of their way. Parang, I have this one client, ano, pinasalamatan niya pa ako, talagang she gave me a gift. I mean, she, binayaran naman ako, pero iba pa rin yung bob binigyan ako ng regalo. Kasi nakita mo talaga na they went out of their way, na talagang natouch sila dun sa ginawa mo. And yun nga, like I say, kahit na bayad ka, yung what you give them naman is priceless. So, iba talaga yung na-appreciate nila yun. Especially since, like I said, birth photography isn't for everybody. Um, so, the people, the few people that I'm discovering who really appreciate it, when they show that they appreciate it, talagang grabe yung nakakataba ng puso. Nangyari na to sa akin more than once, yung kliyente ko, inibita pa ako sa baptism ng anak nila, na parang, ganoon lang naman kami nagkakilala nung nag-birth shoot. Never ko sila na-meet before. Hindi naman kami talagang magkaibigan. Pero dahil, for them, I was part of it. Naging medyo magkaibigan na kami. Tapos parang for them to invite me to the baptism, sobrang big deal for me yun. And, ano, whether nakakapunta ko or hindi, talagang I show them na, wow, sobrang touch talaga ako. So yun, parang, it's really that. It's not the monetary um, reward. Kasi parang nawala pa masyado dahil bago pa, sa, bago pa yung concept. But it's really, parang, like I said, I'm an emotional person, so that is really what speaks to me. I really want to hone the technical part. I'm new to the craft. I've always liked and appreciated beautiful pictures. And all the veterans will tell you, kailangan years of practice. And you know, as much as possible, try to shoot every day. So, parang for me, it's more of the technical part na lang. I'm, I, it's funny I'm gonna say this because I never thought of myself as passionate, but I think the not just in birth photography and anything that you do. You really have to be passionate. Kasi especially, kunyari, in birth photography, on call ka. On call ka 24-7 pag alam mong may mga nganak na. Para kang, ano, doctor. Pero ang mga doktor, they get paid 70,000. Ito, talagang per shoot ka lang nababayaran. So, you're on call. When you get there, hindi mo alam gano'n kakatagal nandun. But, you know, it's not the money. It's it's really that you want to have a good result. So, it's, I guess the I'm gonna say it, but yeah, passion. Passion, for, I guess that goes for anything. But kailangan hilig mo talaga. Pag hindi mo na masyado, pag hindi ka na masaya, dapat wag mo nang gawin. Parang gano'n.
Okay, this is Headshots 101.